This will be a quick overview of the 800-1000 color press. Every machine has to have a front end. This is a fiery front end. Also available is a free flow front end. Next we're going to show you the oversized high capacity feeders. These are optional. They are capable of holding and feeding 19.2 by 13 paper. There are two of them. They feed paper out into the interface into the IoT. Paper is fed out of either of these two trays through the interface into the IoT. The machine comes standard with two paper trays. These trays are virtually identical to the ones in the oversized high cap feeder. They feed 19.2 by 13 inch paper. So when pet paper is fed from tray one, it comes around this baffle, goes across here. Tray two is the same way. Paper comes across this baffle, goes across this transport. This is a deburring roll for customers that cut their own paper. Uh, this kind of smooths the edges out inside the machine. Goes across the transport around to the pre-registration area. This is your transport drawer. This is the aligner assembly. This is the BTB assembly. This is where the image is actually transferred to the paper. Across the vacuum transport and out to the fuser. These are your charge Corotron assemblies. Your drum housings are here as well. These are your ink tubes. You have black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. This is where a gold or silver housing can be put in as an option with the developer housing as well, and you would get a new uh, drum housing and Corotron assembly as well. So here we have the PCUI, which is the customer's primary interface for the machine. Open up these two doors. So the print has been processed in the IoT. It comes into the fuser assembly, where the ink is actually fused into the paper, through the cooling assembly, which has an upper and lower cooling belt, into the full width array, where any image quality adjustments take place. The paper path then goes around this corner. Over here, if it's being duplexed, this is your inverter assembly, where the paper is inverted and then it's fed back into the machine to process the second side. If the paper is just a simplex, it comes out here and goes out into the finishing device. If the customer wants it inverted simplex, this becomes your inverter where the paper comes down and then out into the finishing device. So at this point of the machine, there are several finishing devices that are available. This particular machine has a decurler, which will curl and decurl your paper. There's a selection here for the customer, and a high-capacity stacker.